Welcome to Event Status Checklist. In this section, we'll explain how to add, edit, and delete checklist items. But first, let me show you where the checklist items are. They're under Office Events. So in this example, I'm going to click on Drop Off. Second column over has a checklist icon. So this would have <clears throat> any items that we want to make sure get completed before it moves to the next status. So it's highlighted in orange, meaning that there are required checklist items behind there. I'm going to just click on it to show you. So here's three checklist items. Have client complete client info sheet, create client folder, and then form preparers. So now I'll go to admin, the admin page, to show you how to set that. So it's admin, event status, and then we're focusing on the business type tax preparation. And then the third column over, we have the checklist icon. So each event status has its own unique checklist. So as of right now, they're going to be blank. And then you can create whatever checklist items you'd like in each event status. So if it's highlighted in orange, that means there are checklist items on the page already. So if I go to drop off, which we just looked at, click on it. Here are the three you just saw. If you see over here the ordinal, that's the order that you'd like them to display. Required, in this case they're all checked required. That means I can't change the status uh, to a new status without getting an error, red error message page telling me that I have uncompleted checklist items uh, if they haven't been completed yet. It'll, it, it'll give me an error message and this will all be explained if you go to the video on Office Events Workflow. But from here, all we're going to do is explain how to create a checklist item. So I'm going to go ahead and create one more. I'm going to say we need to assign a preparer. And I'll go ahead and label this Ordinal 40. And I'll make it required. And the assigned to would mean if I want this actually to show up in an assigned uh, a user's my assigned tasks. If I select mark when this is created, uh, if this event status drop off is created, then this checklist actually would show up in marks assigned tasks. The last column due date days from the start date. Say if, for example, it's showing up in marks assigned tasks. If I want it to show up as soon as the event's created, then I would put a zero. If I want it to show up two days after the event status is created, then I would place a two. If I want to have it show up two days prior to the event status start date, then I would put a minus two. So I'll put a zero here, and then I save it. If you need to delete a checklist item, all you have to do is select the delete button. We actually don't have an inactive button here. You can just delete whichever ones you don't want to use anymore, and then just add any new ones. And again, to, to actually see how these are demonstrated, I'm going to refer you to the office events video which will demonstrate that in the workflow. Thank you.